Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting edition of Scrubs Garage. Today we have two new products to install in my 01 C5 Corvette. Both come from our friends at Elite Engineering. Uh, the first one is their E2 Catch Can. The other one is their Clean Side Air Oil Separator. <clears throat> These two products will work in harmony with one another, and we'll talk about why they're needed uh, in just a bit. But just as a quick review, as so I've taken everything out of the packaging, the first is their the E2 Catch Can. Um, I can't really can't say enough about how nice quality their um, their product is. The machining on everything, there's nice weight to it. Um, things fit together like they're supposed to. Um, really nice products. I've got a couple other things from them installed on the car. I've been impressed every time. Um, so this is their Catch Can. <clears throat> so the top has a, a filter uh, media in there so uh, the air uh, comes in through the top goes through the uh, the media to help strain out any uh, oil vapors in the air the catch can uh, will catch the the drippings and then the air passes back up and can go to the to the intake so you're stripping the oil vapors out of the air before it goes into your intake manifold um, so as you can see, everything fits together just really nice. Got nice weight to it, and obviously the the bottom is removable. Uh, so as it begins to fill up with oil, uh, every so often you can check it, remove the bottom, dump it out, uh, that sort of thing. <clears throat> um, so the mounting bracket for the standard LS1, it's just their what they call their standard hockey stick uh, type bracket. I sprung a couple extra bucks for the nickel plated uh, fittings, though the brass fittings come standard. Um, and you can pay a little bit more if you want to and get the black AN fittings um, and upgraded hose and that sort of thing. Um, I didn't spend the extra money on that. I think the, uh, the standard hose will be fine for me. Now the other product is the clean side. This is the air oil separator, separator for the clean air. So this actually replaces your oil filter, uh, oil filler cap. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's got a um, same, same deal. There's um, a filter... Uh, media inside of this that helps strain out um, oil and oil vapors in the air uh, passing through it and then also of course the kit comes with the uh, couple of hose clamps that you need a, uh, a block off cap and then the hose to go with it um, so we'll talk a little bit more here in a second about why these products are necessary um, it's a fairly simple installation uh, so long as you know where everything's got to go, make sure you get your hoses uh, plugged into the right places. So uh, we'll walk through that together and I'll show you how this goes on. Uh, so let's talk for just a moment about why these two products um, are necessary or at least beneficial uh, for your, your engine. In my case, it's the LS1 in the Corvette. So with any type of combustion engine, you'll get a certain amount of blow by. Uh, that is combustion gases that pass uh, past the piston rings and those gases enter into the crankcase. Obviously if you didn't vent those gases you'd begin to build pressure inside of the crankcase and you start to blow out um, oil seals and create some other issues. So there's a need to vent um, those gases out of the crankcase. <clears throat> so that's where your PCV valve comes into play. Those gases pass back up through your um, your uh, heads into the valve covers and out of the valve covers through a hose um, that goes to your typically your intake manifold. In that line is your PCV valve which is positive crankcase ventilation valve. Um, it's a one-way check valve uh, so that it allows pressure to pass out going back to the intake manifold um, but it doesn't allow pressure to go backwards uh, and push air into uh, the crankcase. But obviously there are uh, oil vapors trapped in that air um, so if those if those oil vapors begin to condensate inside of your intake manifold um, it gets your intake all oily <clears throat> and can cause pre-detonation um, and a variety of other issues we won't go into the clean side um, is is for the other scenarios so typically there's vacuum um, pulling the crankcase air um, out through the PCV valve. Um, but during wide, wide open throttle, you don't have vacuum um, typically on the in, inside the intake manifold during wide open throttle. 
So, this line is typically routed in front of the throttle plate. So under wide open throttle, typically the vacuum would actually be in front of the throttle plate. So you get vacuum there. Um, so that's where this comes in. Um, typically you don't see it quite as often, but obviously in a racing application, um, you'll spend quite a bit of time at wide open throttle. Um, so making sure we're getting the oil vapors um, out of the air, not into the intake manifold, um, becomes important. So this catches uh, both sides of the system. Um, and they're a well-engineered product, so I think it's going to do well for us. Uh, so let's move on to the installation, and we'll show you how to set up all the hoses and lines and how everything bolts together. Okay. So setting up the catch can is fairly simple. Uh, we have two fittings. The 90-degree uh, the angle goes on top. Uh, the straight fitting goes in the side. Uh, to make sure that these don't leak, we use just a little bit of Teflon tape around the, uh, the threads. Don't have to overdo it, but just enough to make sure they doesn't they don't leak. Right there, tighten that in a second. using Teflon, make sure you're fairly clean with your your wrapping so that you don't get anything over the end that might get sucked in. And of course this one uh, goes on top. Get the thread started. Alright, we'll get things uh, positioned. Uh, I'll tighten up this bottom one and then we'll be ready to move on to the installation in the car. Alright, so we'll take a look just here on the, uh, we're on the passenger side of the engine, the right hand side. I've already taken off the, uh, the cover uh, so that we can see uh, our lines over here. So this right here is your PCV valve uh, and you can see it plugs into the intake manifold. It's behind the throttle body. So our catch can uh, will mount in this area. Uh, we'll actually unplug this here. This will round into our catch can, and then out of our catch can, uh, we'll come and plug back into here. The other is our clean side um, air oil separator. That replaces our uh, oil cap here. This line supplies the clean air. Uh, this is the clean side air line that goes into the valve cover over here. Um, we'll unplug it from the valve cover and we'll put the cap on that and then this line will plug in um, to our oil cap so that's kind of a just a gist of how things uh, are routed this is for the LS1 obviously if you have the LS6 or a different motor um, it's set up just a, a little bit differently Okay, we're back into the engine bay. We're going to install the uh, bracket that holds the uh, the catch can. We're using um, a couple of open holes here on the front of the block on the cylinder heads. There we go get that started. One more down here. There we go. Kind of a tough spot to get started. Okay, we're uh, ready to mount the catch can. So the catch can has a uh, groove uh, cut into the back of it that lines up with this uh, the top of the bracket, and then there are two uh, small Allen head. Uh, screws that go into the back of it to hold the catch can uh, to the bracket. Uh, pretty straightforward. A little tight getting there, uh, getting a tool in there to tighten these, um, but we'll manage. And then once we have this lined up, uh, we'll be ready to run our hoses. Okay, uh, so we got the catch can uh, mounted securely in place. Uh, now we're ready to remove our uh, PCV. Uh, line 
and we're going to actually remove this little short piece but we have to get it off the intake manifold first um, I'm going to use this is actually a spark plug uh, boot puller um, but I think it will work nicely for this as well Let's see if they'll let me get a decent grip yeah there we go and remove this little short angle piece as well okay so we're going to have to cut a piece of the supplied hose this came with the uh, with the kit so we're going to go from the uh, back of the PCV valve and it's going to have to route back here to the um, catch can so I'm just measuring the line I'm going to make myself a note about where I need to cut it and then I uh, will cut it to, to fit pretty straightforward and then when we remount it we'll make sure we put our uh, hose clamps to make sure it doesn't come off and then we'll have to have to make sure we route it uh, so that it doesn't hit this serpentine belt uh, the tensioner here uh, will in interfere with any uh, wiring harnesses as, as well and then we'll do the same with another piece to go from here from the catch can uh, back to the uh, intake manifold okay I got the lines routed uh, hose clamps put on and the catch can uh, mounted so this is just kind of a uh, close-up view of how everything uh, worked out see the line coming off the uh, PCV valve routes to the top of the catch can out of the side of the catch can it comes back uh, to the intake manifold um, added a little zip tie here just to make sure this line uh, didn't move and get too close to that uh, uh, serpentine belt there that's just a uh, quick close-up of how the catch can mounts. Now we're going to install the um, clean air separator. Uh, it'll be pretty simple. Uh, we'll cap off the line here. And then from the new cap, we'll run a line uh, to here on the intake manifold uh, or throttle body. Okay, it's that easy. Um, this is a, a two-part cap. You see it separates there, so this is a base that screws in just like your stock oil filler cap. But this has got two O-rings on it and it's a press fit uh, to go in there. So you have a little bit of adjustability uh, to make sure this is pointed in a convenient direction. <clears throat> then you just do a, a line uh, with two hose clamps going from there to here. Um, pretty straightforward. So that wraps it up. Uh, honestly, a uh, pretty simple install of all the projects you're going to do. Probably maybe an hour start to finish, um, just fooling around. Um, but I think it's going to make a, a big difference. I'll check it. I've got a track day coming up uh, about a week and a half from now. I'll check it after the track day and see how much oil I've accumulated in the catch can. So other than that, thanks for tuning in to Scrubs Garage, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick follow-up. Just got back from a track day um, at VIR. So I pulled off the um, the catch can just to give you an idea of how much oil uh, it's collecting. I emptied this uh, after my first two sessions and it was about maybe half full. And I just got home um, and I checked it again just to see how much it collected uh, during the third and fourth uh, sessions during the day and it is almost up to the threads. I mean it's probably three quarters full uh, so I probably couldn't go an entire track day uh, without emptying uh, the catch can. Uh, it catches a tremendous amount uh, so pretty impressive uh, to think all of that would have gone and been sprayed back, back through my uh, intake manifold. I mean just uh, that's, that's incredible so uh, it really does does work good job uh, elite engineering I really appreciate a, a good product so just to give you an idea of what it, it's capable of catching your car may be a little different uh, but for me it certainly works